question is about Christianity. Going once. Go on, bro. I've been, um, I've been struggling with this verse. Yeah. Jeremiah 8 8. Right. And uh, like the Muslims have been telling me. I'll, I'll have some um, questions when like, it's ready. All right. Yeah. I've been asking them to prove from the Quran that the Bible is corrupted. The Torah and the Injil is corrupted. Yeah. And they've been saying a lot of stuff. Jeremiah 8 8. So, well, how old are you, young man? Uh, like 15. 15. So, firstly, brother. Are you coming here alone or are you coming here with people? Right, brother, I want to encourage you to understand that, that this is a battleground. Like, this is a spiritual battleground. And at 15, like, I mean, I don't want to discourage you from doing evangelism, but it's very important that you are linking up with adults, like, and adults you know and trust, not just any adult, right? I would honestly say that you, as a young man, that you shouldn't be coming here alone. Like you should be coming and you should either be connecting with adults that you know and trust and coming with them, right? Or that you should wait until you're a little bit older. Because the thing is, a young man like you, when you're surrounded by Muslims and they're coming at you with all these different arguments. I mean, it's online. It's online. Okay, okay, it's online. So um, it's good that you get involved in apologetics, but make sure that at end of every week, you're speaking to a knowledgeable Christian about what you've experienced here at the corner. That's important for you as a young Christian, like you're doing now, yeah? Okay, so what did they say about Jeremiah 8.8? 8? Uh, yeah, so, so let, me, let me talk about this. How can you say we are wise and the law of the Lord is with us, but behold, the lying pen of the scribes has made it into a lie. What they're talking about there is all of the Jewish writings about the Torah. What the Bible is talking about there is all of the extra Jewish writings about the Torah, not the Torah itself. So you, the Jews, when they studied the Torah, they didn't just study the Torah and go, oh, that's what it says. What they did is they studied the Torah and then they wrote about it. And it's these other writings that are being condemned here in Jeremiah 8.8. 8. Okay? So a modern example of that is the Talmud. The Talmud was a collection of writings that emerged in the 5th century AD. But, but the Talmud talks about the Torah, the Tanakh. Right? And it's that, that writing, the Talmud, that's being condemned. You know in, um, you know in the Gospels where... Um, Matt, Jesus says, I'll show you. Right, so Jesus, look, in, in Mark chapter 7, Jesus talks about the same thing. He says, he was also saying to them, you are experts in setting aside the commandments of God in order to keep, the, keep your own tradition. For Moses said, honour your father and mother, and he who speaks evil of father and mother is to be put to death. But you say, if a man says to his father or his mother, whatever I have would help you is korban, that is to say, given to God, you no longer permit him to do anything for his father or his mother. So Jesus is talking about the same thing that Jeremiah is talking about in Jesus' day, which is that the Jews used to write extra stuff about the law of the Torah and change the law of the Torah because of their human traditions. So Jeremiah condemns it in his day, the Jews keep doing it, and then Jesus condemns it in his day, and the Jews keep doing it. And the Jews today use the Talmud, and that's an example of what Jeremiah and Jesus are talking about. Does that make sense? Right, and, and young man, it's, you know, it's great to have you here, but remember what I said, every time you come to the corner, go and speak to a knowledgeable Christian about what you hear. Yeah. And if ever you want to come and ask me a question, feel free. Just like now. I'm always at your disposal. Yeah? One more thing. Sorry, one more thing. Is remember that the, the Muslims at this park who are doing dawah, they're looking for the weak Christian. They're trying to manipulate the weak Christian. They're trying to lie to the weak Christian. So you've got to guard your heart because that's the wellspring of life. All right, bro. Peace be with you. God bless you. Any other any other questions about Christianity? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Right. So, gone.